Hello everyone, I'm John J.D. Temple, president of Harcum College. My wife Margie and I want to welcome trustees, alumni, faculty, and staff, and friends to our 2020 virtual show. We are disappointed that we are unable to gather in person for our annual president's dinner this year, but are thankful we have this platform to celebrate with the members of the Harcum family. We are joining you tonight from the Kevin D. Marlowe Little Theater on Harcum's Bryn Mawr campus. The Little Theater has been a centerpiece of our campus since its founding. It has been the home for theater productions, concerts, speakers, art and design shows, community events, and more. It is fitting that we are here as two of tonight's honorees have ties to this space. Alumni Lifetime Achievement Award recipient Merle Holman, class of 56, was an active participant in Harcum's theater program while studying at Harcum. And Dennis Marlowe, the 2020 Circle of Excellence Distinguished Honoree and the Marlowe family led the efforts to restore the theater, which was renovated and rededicated in 2011 as the Kevin D. Marlowe Little Theater. The Marlowe's lovingly named the theater for their late son, Kevin, an aspiring actor who tragically lost his life in the terrorist attacks on the World Trade Center in 2001. Later in the program, we will share a bit more of the history of this space and its importance to the Harkin community. It has been a challenging year for all of us. We are proud that as a community, Harkin College has adapted to new ways of teaching, learning, and working as we continue to face the uncertainty this pandemic brings. Some highlights from this year include Harkin's quick and efficient redirection to online instruction last March. The creation of the Student Emergency Fund, which raised over $12,000 to provide funding to students facing unplanned educational expenses related to the pandemic, while the federal government, via the CARES Act, provided our students with additional direct aid, each receiving over $800. The U.S. Department of Education awarded Harcum a Student Support Services grant of $1.7 million over the next five years to help more students succeed and graduate from college. A 16th month online occupational therapy assisting program has been launched in Sun City, Arizona. It blends online and applied learning and is now recruiting for January 2021. 27 student athletes were recognized as NJCA All-Americans, having achieved GPAs of 3.6 or higher. Thanks to the diligent work of college leadership and our facilities team, the campus was ready for students to return in August. Students are still taking classes online where possible, but those that require in-person hands-on instruction are meeting and adhering to all national, state, and local safety protocols. We are pleased to continue our tradition of presenting the annual alumni awards. Harcum's alumni are an exemplary group of individuals who have gone on to become leaders in their professions, their communities, and beyond. It is my pleasure to introduce Susan Zeller-Kent, Class of 72, past president of the Harcum College Alumni Association Board, and last year's recipient of the Outstanding Alumni Award to present this year's Alumni Awards. I'm extremely pleased to be with you, and to help is our Alumni Board President, Tracy Johnson, is unfortunately unable to join us. We are proud to have the opportunity to recognize the contributions of two amazing alumni this evening, Jason Doherty from the Class of 1998 and Merle Holman from the Class of 1956. It is not possible to detail all of their accomplishments and contributions in just a few moments or a few words, so I encourage you to read more about them on the Harkin website. Our first awardee is Jason Doherty, a 1998 graduate of the Physical Therapy Assisting Program. Jason began his career as a PTA immediately after graduating from Harcum and then went on to earn a bachelor's degree from Newman University in 2004. He also earned a Master's of Education, Higher Education Administration from the University of Delaware in 2012. Jason served as an adjunct faculty member at Harcum from 1999 to 2007, teaching across the curriculum. Currently, Jason is the Assistant Dean of Instruction at Delaware Technical Community College, where he also served as Department Chair of the PTA program. 
Jason is a well-respected educator and professional. He also served as a PTA caucus representative for the American Physical Therapy Association, as an executive board member for the Delaware Physical Therapy Association, and he currently serves as a commissioner for the Commission on Accreditation in Physical Therapy Education. Jason will present at the American Physical Therapy Association's Combined Sections Meeting Conference in 2021. Sean Mattery, PTA Program Academic Coordinator of Clinical Education, shared, Jason has been a tireless advocate for the PTA field as well as PTA education. He has continually supported the Harcum College PTA program, mentoring students as a clinical instructor and adjunct faculty member. He is a proud Harcum graduate. On behalf of the Harcum College Alumni Association, I am very proud to present the 2020 Outstanding Alumnus Award to Jason Doherty. Congratulations, Jason. I am Jason Doherty, a 1998 graduate of the Harcum College Physical Therapist Assistant Program. I'd like to thank you for this recognition and thank you also for the opportunity to reach out, say hello and thank you uh, during these troubling times. I am so grateful for the impact Harcum had on my life. When thinking about what to say, I was able to connect so many positive, long lasting life experiences to my time at Harcum. I met great colleagues like Jackie Kopak and Sean Maderi. I am really thankful to Sean for uh, providing me clinical um, affiliation opportunities, uh, especially one at the University of Pennsylvania, and where I eventually worked as a senior PTA and as the clinical education coordinator. Soon after my graduation from Harcum, uh, Sandy Feather offered me the opportunity to serve as an adjunct faculty member. Harcum helped me to um, teach the profession I love, and I am always thankful for that. Add to that, when I started teaching at Delaware Tech, I was again afforded the opportunity to go back to school and finish my master's degree at night. So again, another step in my life that I contribute to my time at Harcum College. Harcum also provided trajectory. Uh, it allowed me to live a great life. I met my wife, Laura, uh, at my first PTA job um, with Mercy Healthcare System. Um, and we've been blessed with two beautiful daughters and working together with my wife, who is another amazing person in my life. Uh, we can work in the field of physical therapy, teach the field of physical therapy, and support students and patients while providing for our children. Uh, and again, to do what you love, to teach what you love, and to be able to provide for your family. Uh, at the same time, it, it is a, a great gift. I hope that people at Harcum recognize that your impact is meaningful and it's long lasting. You do great things for your students every day. I am so thankful for this recognition, but you deserve the recognition as well. Uh, you are doing great things and changing lives. Thank you for your time. Thank you for this honor. Thank you again for the opportunity to reach out and say hello. Uh, and as always, please stay healthy and stay safe. Thanks so much. Our next award, the Alumni Lifetime Achievement Award, is presented to Merle Berman Holman from the class of 1956. Merle was a very active and engaged student during her time at Harcum. Her passion for writing led her to study communications and advertising. She was very involved with the theater program and participated in several productions in Harcum's Little Theater. Merle found another outlet for her writing passion as a major contributor to the 1956 yearbook where many of her original pieces were featured. After Harcum, Merle married and had two daughters. She divorced when her children were young and found herself in need of a new career. In the 1960s and 1970s, Merle earned her education in quantitative research as an employee of full-service research firms. In 1981, Merle opened her own focus group facility in Bala Kenwood. With Merle at the helm, what started as one room with a one-way mirror became an award-winning marketing practice. Most recently, her company, Group Dynamics, won an award from the Philadelphia Inquirer as a family-owned business in the women-owned family business category in spring of 2019. Merle has served Harcum in many ways. She was founding member of the National Alumni Board and served as the first president 
and is currently a member of the Business Program Advisory Board. In addition to her volunteer roles at Harcum, Merle is an active volunteer and officer on the board of the Golden Slipper Club and Charities and is a board member of the Act Two Playhouse. On behalf of the Harcum College Alumni Association, I am extremely proud to present the 2020 Alumni Lifetime Achievement Award to Merle Holman. Congratulations, Merle. When I walked into Harcum in 1954 as an 18-year-old student in a class of 82 girls, could I have imagined that at 84 years old, I would be honored with the Harcum Lifetime Achievement Award? To those who have chosen me, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Because of the small classes, only three of us in advertising public relations, I was in most of the shows in our little theater, wrote for the newspaper and yearbook, won a ping pong tournament, always came in second in high school, danced in Miss Salima's class, broadcast on Villanova's radio station. At that time, it was all boys. Had the good fortune to intern at radio station WPEN, thanks to Dr. Philip Klein, and was hired after graduation to write public relations blurbs for the Bulletin and Inquirer. Oh, and our cast from Crack Cry Havoc was on the front page of the Daily News. After graduation, I was on the same path as so many of us in the 50s, remained friends with many of my classmates, accepted an engagement ring, walked down the aisle, became a mother of two girls, but after seven years, the path took a sharp turn. Our house was going up for sheriff sale, so I took my two daughters and began to blaze a new trail. Sounds dramatic and traumatic, but all of us have to make choices and I am so lucky to be a survivor. I have so enjoyed returning to the Harcum campus, participating on a business committee and attending several graduations. In the 50s, we were all female, fresh out of high school and passing time till we got that engagement ring. Jump ahead to 2015 and I am in awe of the 100 students, of hundreds of students, all genders and ages, dads, moms, walking down the aisle for their diplomas. I take pride in my family, the 39 years of the growth of group dynamics, thanks to the succession of my daughter, Robin, and most of the original staff. I'm grateful for good health, which enables me to be a board member of Golden Slipper and Act Two Playhouse, and also volunteer for the Narberth Food Bank. Again, I say thank you. I'm a very lucky lady. Thank you, Susie, and congratulations to both Jason and Merle. Last year, we introduced the Harcum Circle of Excellence, this prestigious giving society was created to recognize and thank our most generous donors, all individuals who had given 50,000 or more during their lifetime are members of the Circle of Excellence. Each year, one Circle of Excellence member is selected as a distinguished honoree in recognition of their commitment of time, talent, and treasure to Harcum College. Last year, we were proud to present this honor to Dr. Samuel Semino. This year, Sam is joining us to present the award to the 2020 honoree, Dennis S. Marlowe. Thank you, Dr. D. Temple. Dennis Marlowe has served Harcum College as a member of the Board of Trustees since 1994, holding many leadership roles, including Chairman of the Board. He currently serves as Vice Chair Chair of the Audit Committee, Vice Chair of the Executive Committee, and serves on the Finance and Physical Plant and Trusteeship Committees. Dennis is the proud father of alumni board member Christine Marlowe Schremstra, the class of 2000, who is following in his footsteps as a dedicated leader within the Harkin community and beyond. Dennis has been a driving force in the college's many initiatives over the last 25 years. He is an avid golfer and helped to establish Harcum's annual golf outing in 2000. In 2002, the outing was renamed the Kevin D. Marlowe Golf Classic in honor of his son, Kevin. Over the last 20 years, the event has grown to one of the college's largest annual fundraising events. Now known as Harcum College Kevin D. Marlowe 
golf and tennis classic and online auction. The event now includes something for everyone. Proceeds from this event benefit Harcum's Kevin D. Marlowe Scholarship. Since 2000, this event has raised over $500,000 and had provided significant scholarship support to 65 talented students. Dennis again chose to honor his son, Kevin, an aspiring actor through his support of the campaign to restore Arkham's Little Theater. The Marlowe family's generosity was key in achieving the fundraising goal that led to the renovation of the theater. The theater has been a central part of Harkham campus life for generations and now proudly known as the Kevin D. Marlowe Little Theater. In 2015, Harkham celebrated its first 100 years. Dennis and his wife, Karen, served as chairs for Harkham's Centennial Gala. The gala was an outstanding event attracting over 200 Harkham friends, current and former trustees, alumni, faculty, and other community members. The proceeds from the gala helped create nearly $80,000 in scholarship support through the Centennial Scholarship Fund. Dennis is a true leader and has given so much of his time, talent, and treasure to help Parkham College endure and grow into the institution it is today. He is truly deserving of this recognition. I am proud to present the 2020 Circle of Excellence Distinguished Honoree Dennis S. Marlowe. Uh, thank you, Sam. It's a pleasure to follow you as the separate, second recipient of this great honor. I know Harkham has been and continues to be a, very close to my heart. When I joined the Harkham board over 25 years ago, Harkham was in transition. We were predominantly a female institution by choice with a declining enrollment. Over the next 25 years, we experienced five different presidents we became co-educational, added sports programs, emphasized much more in the way of allied health programs for our students, added remote campuses with our partnership sites. Harkham has not only regained its shrinking enrollment, but has become one of the best values in education for its students, many of whom are non-traditional students. I'm proud to be a part of this great success story and a place where my daughter, Christine, graduated and a place that helped her gain a renewed appreciation of higher education. She eventually went on to get an advanced degree, but the personal attention that she had from the faculty at, at Harkham helped her, I think, go on to further degrees in her chosen profession. And Christine, I think, is still involved, as I think you heard earlier, with the Harkham Board, the Alumni Board. Harkham was there also at, during the 9-11 terrorist attacks when we lost our son, Kevin, Christine's younger brother. And they were available to help us establish a scholarship fund for students of Harkham. And we also continue that on today through the fundraising, through the Kevin D. Marlowe Scholarship, uh, college uh, golf and tennis outings that we have. One of the prized treasures of Harkham in the past generations fell in the disarray over the years. And it was a chance for a perfect opportunity to initiate a new project for renewal at Harkham. The theater at Harkham was once used by the core part of the faculty and the students for some of the educational opportunities in these arts programs. We also found out that um, through the years, this restoration and the renaming the Kevin D. Marlowe Little Theater is also benefiting Curtin students, but is also used by the local community for other events. The last 25 years has been a rewarding and personal experience for me. When I see how Harkham has changed so many individual lives, 
who may not have had a chance for another opportunity in another educational environment. Higher education certainly will change over the remainder of this decade, and maybe such changes will be forced and accelerated by our current conditions that we're experiencing in the country right now. Harcum has a core foundation, which is what is needed in today's world, with the academic excellence and professions beneficial to our society, with a history of diversity before it became the, the highest and the new buzzword and the hot button, and the value proposition that students and their parents can appreciate. Thank you again, Karen. I Harkham and I can continue to grow in the future. Thank you, Sam, and congratulations to Dennis. We will close out tonight's program with a brief visual history of the Kevin D. Marlowe Little Theater. When we are able to gather again, John Jay and I hope we will see you on campus so you can experience this space in person. Tucked away in a ground floor wing of Harkham's signature Melville Hall is the historic Little Theater. Built in 1896 by renowned architect Paul Cret. In its early years, the Little Theater served as a study hall, a music salon, and eventually as a venue for experimental theater, launching several Hollywood and stage careers, including Richard Nash, Gail Davis, Martha Merriman, and Suzanne Roberts. A reconstruction of Harkham's Little Theater began in September 2010 during John G. de Temple's presidency that sought to combine history with the 21st century. The distinctive quarried walls on the exterior were preserved, but the interior work was extensive, comprising a floor-to-ceiling renovation with energy-efficient windows, ventilation, and lighting, recyclable bamboo flooring, and a new brick walkway. Significant funding for its restoration was provided by Harkham trustee Dennis Marlowe and his family, including National Alumni Board member Christine Marlowe Treemstra, class of 2000, who made a lead gift in memory of son and brother Kevin D. Marlowe. On September 11, 2001, Kevin perished in the World Trade Center attacks. Kevin was an investment banker, an accomplished athlete, and an aspiring actor. The newly renovated Little Theater was dedicated in his memory during a ribbon cutting ceremony on March 2, 2011. The first production at the Kevin D. Marlowe Little Theater was a reading of With Their Eyes, a compilation of eyewitness accounts on the 10th anniversary of the September 11 attacks by students and others from the Stuyvesant High School community in Lower Manhattan. Since that inaugural production, the Kevin D. Marlowe Little Theater has welcomed dozens of events, including the 2014 Employee Art Show, and also notably in 2014, Lest We Forget, an exhibition of Philadelphia artist Joan Meyerson Schrager's complex reaction to the World Trade Center bombings. In celebration of the Harcum College Centennial in 2015, several premieres graced the theater, including the Bears and Squares crowdsourced art exhibition and the juried art show called 100 Years of Art, which awarded first place winner Linny Greenberg of Ardmore with a solo show the following year. In recent years, the Little Theater has hosted the annual Interior Design Portfolio Show, numerous career expos and panels, the Mainline Chamber of Commerce Government Affairs Committee, and even an evening of one-act chamber operas composed by Minotti and Poulong. It is a bright and intimate space, perfectly sized for Harkham, and an invaluable multi-use venue that will serve the college well for many years to come. Again, we would like to thank you for taking the time to join us this evening. We stay safe, and healthy. We look forward to seeing you soon. Go, Go Bears! Bears!